hi everyone in this video i am going to create dynamic fill in react to form so here you can see i have already created a, a starter file of next.js and we can go inside of global.css and here we can see i have some basic style and i am using poppins from google font so now going to index.js file and let's get started now and first we have to install our react hook form so npm i react hook form now our react hook form is start let's run this server so now our server is started and now i am going to import here use form use form from react hook form now use form return couple of properties and here we need some like register and handle submit and also we need to control and here i am going to create a one form design simple form design so first i am going to take one form and this form have some input so here i am going to first take one button like uh, buttons and button append new input and here i am going to take one df and here i am just taking simple input input type text and this input whenever we click on this append new input we will add new input element here so i am going to create that one so first i am going to create simple form design with give some style so it look much better and then we will implement the, our functionality so here you can see append new input and now i am going to create one button submit also so here i am going to take one button type submit and here i am submit okay let's give some style so i am going to give class name this one container and here go and container max width 20 ram and margin 4 ram top bottom and left ref auto and here let's give this form and we want to this input let's select that input input directly you can give the class name and here display block and with 100 percent padding 0.5 frame and border one pixel solid gray and outline none now it's looking simple and clean and let's give some style of button so button and border should be known and padding one ram and two ram and here we can give background color let's give hot pink and whatever you like and color white yep and give this this container and i want to give some a space in this between we can also give here class and we make this flex and give the equal gap so here i am going to select form 
and make a display flex and flex item direction column and simply graph one rank so here we have finished simple style i am not going to create that much style we only focus on the functionality today so here i am going to keep some one proof this cursor pointer now is fine and when we click this add new input should be add one new input bottom of this input box so how can we do that first we have already taken use form and one thing we need to also take that is our react hook for provide use field array okay and this field array returns couples of our properties like fields uh, append remove and more properties so i am going to use this one field array we have to pass control so here we know our control is a key and we can pass value as a control this value we can also pass directly and now it's work fine and let's map this input by using field array field array as array and returns a value and value has one id that id is unique so now i am going to write this one and here we take index and left and here return our input and we can use id as a key now our input element and when we click on this button we should add new input so here we can add one click and here we can call our method is append and we can pass as an empty object and now when click and now we can see and when we and refresh it because when we click this form is submitted and reloaded and that's why it's not working so we have to add here on submit handler and this submit handler take handle submit and here is take callback we can create offside and directly here so i am going to create here callback as on form submit and this submit has data and we can log data our and now we can here pass our on form submit and then we click now it's working fine as you can see and we click second time it's not working okay after we can give here it should be pass name so name name is you can give any name now uh, so i am going to give test for now and when we click now you can see our input field is working fine okay and here we can reload this one we see initial time we don't have any input so we can do one more thing we can keep here default value and default values and here we can our name is test and we can here test and here it is is array of object so we can pass directly as object and try to reload and you can see if pass second object and now you can see i have a two input after reloading yeah it's working fine let's give the gap of this so i am going to here and class name imports so now i am going to give here and display flex flex direction columns and gap find fiber now when we click it's adding and when we submit and oh you can see our here is data you can write anything any 
things that and now when click and we can see our data is not inside of this object okay here we need to register our this input so we have a register and here just go and spread all the register props here and we need to write like this one as you can this suggested so we can copy this one directly or we can write and now i am going to paste here and this is not a number if this is an index our and here we see directly and we can see here is an object and should be this object must have some value so we can give dot value and you can give anything like name i am giving name and so now here when we append it's input a and so we can like this one and there is object and we don't need two objects simply one and now we can write anything and submit we can see we have a value of this input and key is our name whatever you write it here you can change as a value and now we can submit and now we can see our value because we haven't reload so react hook form requires some time reloads and now we can write submit and we can see that's working fine so it's working fine we can re also remove the input if like you want to remove this input this input it is just simple way to remove wrap this one inside of leave so or fragment whatever you like and here we can give the key and now id and don't go key here and also here i am giving the buttons and here i am writing remove and when we click this remove is remove this input and when click this remove it should be remove this input so how can we do it just need to have here on click and here this should call remove and we can pass the index so our index and now we can click this one now you can see removed and write submit it's working fine and then we try to remove remove so it's working and submit we can see our test is at a zero so this is the way we can create the dynamic field and you can create multiple field here multiple input checkbox whatever you like this is the way of creating dynamic well and react hook form so i hope you understand we will meet in next one